Thank you for taking the time to watch my submission to the 2021 Pitch Your Generation 4 Research Competition. My name is Hannah and I am a first year PhD student in the Radio Chemistry program at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Today I'll be sharing my doctoral dissertation research project, the spectroelectrochemical characterization of uranium and plutonium chloride and fluoride molten salt fuel systems. By applying different energy potentials to radioactive molten salts with diamond, Resulting color changes provide fundamental information about features like the formal potential between the oxidation and reduction processes of the fuel. The electrochemical Nernst equation combined with Beer's law provides a relationship between the concentration of oxidized to reduced species in the system and the absorbance that can be seen spectroscopically, thanks to the modified Nernst equation for spectroelectrochemistry. Here is an example of characteristic absorbance spectra for the reduction of ferricyanide at specific applied potentials around the known formal potential as yellow iron 3 peaking around 420 nanometers reduces to colorless iron 2 showing no absorbance. Diamond material is expected to be a suitable crystalline structure to withstand the harsh environment of a molten salt reactor core given its tightly packed sp3 carbon-carbon bonding. BDD is also known to have a relatively wide potential window and can be easily coated onto a variety of other materials, like quartz or niobium mesh for optical transparency and spectroelectrochemical measurements. It is hypothesized that BDD will be capable of survival in both chloride and fluoride molten salt solutions containing uranium and or plutonium fuel salts. To begin these tests, I have soaked freestanding BDD material in a lithium potassium chloride eutectic at 500 degrees C for over 85 hours. Electrochemical testing with cyclic voltammetry of iron and topographical analysis with scanning electron microscopy both show the material is virtually unfazed by the solvent salt. To take this project a step closer to an operating molten salt reactor core, I'll be introducing a variety of uranium-235 and plutonium-239 fission products and corrosion products from the Hastelloy Inn containment. Fission products include a wide variety of species, but relevant examples include tellurium, which is particularly influential in the corrosion process, and molybdenum, which is also a corrosion product from the alloy. This work will directly support a variety of components related to molten salt reactor designs and increasing longevity. For example, mitigating electrochemical corrosion in the Hastelloy in containment, creating a BDD control sensor for corrosive uranium-4 inhibition and in situ applications, general fuel cycle and waste management for the advanced reactor fleet, and fuel matrix impurity identification. By energizing radioactive molten salts with diamond electrodes, I'll be able to provide important information regarding both basic and complex fuel salt solutions for the advancement and deployment of generation four molten salt reactors around the world. Thank you for watching.